I had to pull over to record this because it's coursing through me right now. So let's have a chat. I'm interpreting it as I just discovered the meaning of life, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> the feeling is really, really cool. But I'm going to tell you the story of it. So it starts with yoga this morning. I have slowed my practice right down because my hamstrings are not my friends. They're like, fuck you. I do not want to cooperate. So I've had to figure out how to how to like slow myself down and find the root cause of why my hamstrings are not my friends. And I've found out it's in my hips. I just have tight hips. It's that simple. So I've been spending time really listening to my body, really looking at the relationship between my hamstrings and my hips. And today I had a little bit of a breakthrough. I just would stop whenever my hamstrings were yelling at me and I would go, okay, get the tennis ball, roll it out in my hips, stretch out my hips, my hip flexors and my, my butt and um, do that work. And then I would go back and my hamstrings were more relaxed. So instead of pushing through these hamstrings and trying to stretch them and stretch them and beat them up, I just had to take it back and go to the root cause and spend time there. And then I was laying in Shavasana at the end of the practice and I was like, wow, it feels so good. I feel so good. And my hamstrings are feeling good. And my hips are opening and like yoga is my my greatest teacher you know teaching me to slow down and go inwards and listen and it just felt like a truth yes yoga is my greatest teacher and I was like but also relationships like relating with other people right now is such a huge teacher for me so I was like cool yeah yoga is my greatest teacher and and my relationship with other people is my greatest teacher and then it became really clear, it was like, relationships are my greatest teacher. It's, it's relationships. And, and then I was like, oh, relationship between myself, so relationship with myself and relationship with others. And then relationship with energy, relationship with my thoughts, relationship, and it just, my awareness spiraled to the biggest, the biggest types of relationship, like the relationships between galaxies, or the relationships between planets, or the relationships between um, countries, or the relationships between people, and then it went right down to the relationship between molecules, or the relationship between atoms, the relationship between cells. And I was like, oh, it is the only thing there is. Relationship is the only thing there is. It is the only thing there is. That's why it's our greatest teacher, because it is the only thing there is. And when you realize that, as I realized that, I realized that all I had to do was listen. All I had to do was be. All I have to do is be who I am and allow myself to just go deeper and deeper, lean in, like it is this leaning in thing into who I am and where my energy is and what I am relating to and all the relationships with inside of my body. And the more that I can accept that that is the meaning of life, those relationships are the only thing there is, the only thing there there is, right? There is nothing else. There is there is no story, there is nothing. It's just a relationship between our thoughts and a feeling or the relationship between resistance and, and how we, we're resisting. And even that is beautiful in itself, but if you want to know the truth that the universe is rigged in your favor, you really just have to go back into your body and lean into that. And that's what I'm doing in yoga and that's why people practice yoga. That is yoga. Yoga is just an exploration of the relationships in your body on a, a very delicate level and on a quite a large level. And if you're able to go in and sit and feel and, and be humbled by the, 
the relationships that are happening with inside of you, then you can bring that out into the world. And yeah, I'm feeling like, I think this is what people want to feel like when they're on drugs. <laughs> like completely connected to yourself, completely high on, on the connections that are in the world and, and in life. I wrote, I actually was in Shavasana and um, I was laying there like relationship, whoa, I was having this like huge epiphany and I was like, yeah, I'm just going to stay here in Shavasana. I was like, Jay, you're following a rule right now. You're not following what's actually happening in your body. And I realized we just do this so much. We stop our flow because we want to fit into these rules that have been set. So I jumped off of my mat, ran across the room, grabbed my phone and started writing. And it was only when I actually started, that, when I followed that flow, that genuine spark that was inside of me, grabbed my phone and started writing about this thing, the relationships and the relationships, everything is all there is and there is only relationships. And the only thing we have to do is be and be a part of that cosmic relating and and then we will truly understand that the universe is rigged in our favor then that is all there is as I started writing out that was my truth that was my flow that was what I had to follow and it finished just as the teacher then called us to do the closing chant and I sat on my mat for the closing chant and my voice had never been so steady my chanting had never been so full of life it had never been so full of joy and I don't care if I don't know if other people felt that, but I felt that because it was coming from a place of this connectedness, this, this like true space of a flow of relating inside of myself that I can't, I can't put words to. It's like an authenticity. It's like an allowing because I allowed myself because I continue to allow myself as best as I can because I still have all the rules and the conditioning and everything that that we all have so relationships are the meaning of life relationships are the meaning of life and I'm not talking about just your human relationships I'm talking about all the types of relationships relating Sit on that, lean into that, enjoy your relationship with yourself, lean into the subtleties of the relationships inside of your body, the relationships between your hamstrings and your hips. Literally the meaning of the universe is found inside of anything because it is only relationship. So if you can look at how one thing is relating in your life to another, you, that's where you'll find everything <laughs> okay I'm going to go to the farmer's market now and thank you <laughs> for listening <laughs> uh, ciao